Out. This is a tough one.
my face. Thank you very much. Here I go.
front! That's its core, with the Crown Prince in it. I'll clear a path. You focus on rescuing. Got it! He's exhausted, but his life doesn't appear to be in any danger. Yeah, he's lost a lot of mana, but nothing that would prove fatal. He'll be alright with some rest. Oh. oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief. That's our mission complete. We recovered the other one of this nation's greatest treasures. <sighs> this... this can't be... <sighs> I can't believe how wrong this has gone. I can't imagine the Grandmaster is going to be very pleased with me when I get back. The Grandmaster? That's Ouroboros' leader, right? The very same. The only absolute figure to we Anguis. The supreme existence carrying out the Orpheus' final plan, who will guide the souls of all. The souls of all? I don't get it. Hmm? So that's... So that's why you broke the taboo and left seven years ago. That's right. I became a guide for the second part of the Grandmaster's plan, known as the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. A plan to use the Hollow Phantasm and Crossbell to awaken the Blaze in the Empire. Regardless, thanks to you and Crow, I was able to advance it... Crow? What? I can't sense any mana from inside. And that vast hole. That must be from where he was pierced during the battle. 
No! isn't happening. I'll heal you right away. Help me, Celine. I'm on it. We'll heal him, Celine. Man, same place I shot Osborne too. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, huh? Crow, you don't have to talk. <laughs> Sorry, Reen. Looks like. I won't be able to keep that promise after all. Till Angelica and George are gonna have to. It's okay. It doesn't matter right now. We need to stop the blood. It's hopeless, isn't it? I'm afraid so. He's been pierced through the heart. Even our witchcraft won't be enough. The most I can do is make it as painless as possible. <sighs> it's not working! <laughs> Thanks, Emma. And you, Kitty. At least this way, I can say my goodbyes. Crow? No. No, don't talk like that. I swear, you're such a spoiled kid sometimes. Elliot, that concert was really fun. Keep on loving music. <laughs> Elisa, try and get along with your mom. All right, you've got your differences. But at least she's still alive to talk to you. Okay, okay. Machias, Eusis. Stay good rivals for one another, okay? The Empire might change with the times, but you two should always be the same. <sighs> of course we will. I refuse to accept him as a friend, but I'll accept him as a worthy rival. Laura, Fee, Gaius, Milium. A lot's happened this past year. I really enjoyed getting to know you, so... <laughs> Thanks. We should be the ones thanking you. It's been fun for me, too. You've been a wonderful classmate and comrade. Thank you. I know I'm an Ironblood, but it was real fun for me, too. Sarah. Thanks for everything. These last two years, and Vita. What's happened between us? But I'm glad I had you there. <laughs> you were as much of a model student as I was a model teacher. But still, I should be the one thanking you. Hey now. <clears throat> What's with the long faces? What? You were all going to be in for some <laughs> tough times ahead. I can't go any farther now. <laughs> But you can. So keep going forward. Relentlessly. Without looking back. <laughs> as long as you do. I'm sure. <sighs> no! This can't be happening! That fool. Students aren't supposed to have to die before their instructors. Spare me the sentimental drivel! Damn it all! 
How could I lose the Azure Chevalier at a time like this? Why must I be surrounded by nothing but disappointments? And that goes for you too, witch. And your useless society. How dare you? What do you think you're doing? I gave him my favor. And this is how he chooses to repay me? By standing in the way of my ambition? I should never have wasted my time on that waif from a fallen country to begin with. You utter scum. Please, don't speak of him that way. You're terrible. <laughs> Duke Cayenne, you will unhand him. If you continue this shameful behavior a moment longer, then I will be forced to respond in kind. <laughs> Your part in this is over, witch. Uh. <gasps> Vita! Grianos? <gasps> uh -huh. Rufus? What's he doing here? <laughs> oh! Of course! I still have you! Thank goodness you're here, Rufus! You... You, you did come to help me, didn't you? <laughs> As a commoner might put it, in your dreams. What? Target in sight. Target restrained. What's going on? What's she doing? Well done. You've behaved disgracefully toward the Imperial family and brought a calamity upon the innocent people of the capital. We may both fly the banner of the Noble Alliance, but I'm afraid I can't turn a blind eye to your misdeeds any longer. As the Alliance's Chief of Staff and a citizen of Arabonia, I hereby place the two of you under arrest. No! <laughs> I see. It all makes sense now. I thought something was amiss about you from the very beginning. I just couldn't work out where you had gotten that girl from the Black Workshop. But it seems that all this time, you were just waiting for your chance, weren't you? <laughs> Why, whatever do you mean? Uh, Vita? This is making any sense. <sighs> oh, I get it now. Milliam? What do you get? Oh boy, I feel really stupid now. <laughs> <laughs>